Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the second uh, lab program of um, Computer Graphics Lab, and uh, the second uh, program is uh, regarding the triangle rotation. So let me um, uh, show you what is the final output which you have to get and um, how it works. Okay. So what do you understand by the term triangle rotation? We'll be having a triangle which will get rotated um, uh, by the angle which we um, input. Okay. So we have two options. What are the two options? The rotation by the origin and rotation about a fixed point. I'll let you know what are these uh, two things and how it differs from each other. Okay. So let's see both of these executions one by one. Let me choose one and the rotation angle I'm going to put is 60 degree. So in the output, as you can see here, this was the triangle present and uh, it is rotation about a uh, origin. So what happens is if you rotate this triangle in 60 degree, this line, as you can see here, this line will be in 60 degree with the x axis. Right, so that's what the whole figure will be also turned in the same way. That is what rotation by origin. So let's see what is the uh, rotation by um, the fixed point. So in the fixed point, what happens? You have to specify one fixed point which is already specified in the program, and that fixed point is uh, let you know what is the fixed point. For now, just see the output. What is the output we are getting? At uh, the rotation angle, I'm entering as 270 degree. So um, see the rotation by fixed point. Uh, if we just see, we don't realize like uh, how it came like that. Okay. It is because of the formulas, uh, we can't visualize it as we have visualized for the origin. Here the fixed point is somewhere here, or I guess it is the red point which is the fixed point. So it has not changed its position. So if you uh, rotate this by 270 degree, it will come like this, like this, like this. Okay, it will come in the um, anti-clockwise direction because by default it is anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so let's uh, discuss the code part. What all you need to remember in the code and how do you write the code for it. Okay, first let's see how many... Um, functions are there okay so i'm minimizing the functions here to give you a brief overview of how many functions are there uh, totally so this is the int main and uh, except the int main how many functions we have one two three four five six and seven so we have seven functions and this is the int main so let's start from the int main here in the int main uh, first statement is printf the rotation uh, about the origin or about the fixed point and the choice will be entered here the, the same way whatever we enter the choice that will be uh, selected and the rotation angle is uh, given here and that is converted to radians okay and this is the init uh, functions and the display functions and the window size window position create window display function so till here it is just the uh, initialization part and after that we have the display function we will be calling the function which is display and then init function is called and that will be displayed from here okay so these two functions will be uh, called next so first we have called which function display function so let's see what is in the display function First, you have the GL clear, uh, GL color buffer bit, so the color will be set here. If CH is 1 or CH is 2, based on that, what function we will call? First, we will draw the triangle. Initially, what is the triangle that we will draw? Then, we will rotate by origin if it is 1, because the choice one was about the origin, right? See here, the choice one is what? Origin. Okay. Uh, rotation about the origin, so that will be called, and again, we will be drawing the rotated triangle. And then, CH2, if it is the choice is 2, which is I want to rotate about a fixed point. Then I'll be calling a function which is rotate about fixed point. Okay, and we'll be drawing a triangle before and after as well. So this uh, this function is for that purpose. And when this function is over, uh, and uh, we have the init function as well, init is just for the initialization purpose. Okay, this we have discussed in the first um, uh, CG lab video as well. Okay, so what we have is these two things um, will be reaching here. Either we'll be going to the origin or we'll be going to the fixed point. So let's see what is in the origin and what is in the fixed point. In the origin, what we have these things we have and in the fixed point we have these things okay so it might look similar to you but let's discuss what is the main uh, difference between each of these by the uh, theory okay so here's the theory uh, explanation and uh, these are the uh, variables which you have initialized these are the header files after that the variables are how many variables we have a t uh, array 2d array what is the t 2d array is a transformation array means what are the points of the triangle 10, 10, 20, 10, 20, 20. These are the three points. Ignore 15, 30, and 10, 20. Okay, just ignore this. This is not of the use. Just uh, we are concerned with this two, this two, and this two. These are the x, y values of the first point. 10, 10. It's further explained here. 10, 10 is this point. You can see. See, this is the point which I am talking about. 10, 10, 20, 10, and 20, 20. So these are the points uh, mentioned in this form. 10, 10, 20, 20, and 20, 10, and 20, 20. So these three points are specified in the uh, T matrix. Okay. And after that, what we have is <coughs> the another matrix, which is the rotation matrix. So rotation matrix is uh, three cross three, which is initialized with all zeros, and the resultant matrix is three cross nine, which is initialized with all zeros. Means three rows are there and nine columns are there. Okay. 
all with zero sits initialized. That's your resultant matrix. Now, if you know the theory of um, how to rotate a triangle, then you will be easily able to understand. If you don't know, just listen what's happening here. To rotate a triangle, you need to multiply uh, the points with this one, right? So let's see first the rotation about the, the origin. Then we'll discuss the rotation about the fixed point. Okay. So for the origin, the explanation. Okay. So just what's happening is the uh, in the origin, what happens is this point will be at this location. Okay. Just the rotation will happen at the origin itself. It won't get translated, then rotate, then again translate. Okay. That's the only difference. So uh, in the Uh, rotation about a fixed point first what we have to do is first we have to translate this uh, whole triangle to this point for that we will be using a translation matrix okay this matrix is for translation right then uh, we will be doing the anti-clockwise rotation which uh, means we will be multiplying these things with this, uh, with this one and this one again will be multiplied with this one which is the inverse uh, translation because after we have rotated this one again we have to translate it back to the original position so xr and yr is nothing but the fixed point and we'll be translating it and we'll be doing that for each of these triangle points which is x, y and 1 which is this one for this another x, y, another x, y, another x, y three times we'll be performing this one that is for anti-clockwise rotation and if you simplify this one then what we obtain is this one okay this is the thing which we obtain and um, to simplify this one we have taken it as follows this one is taken as m this one is taken as n So all you need to know is that uh, this is the matrix which we need to get and we'll multiply with each point given to us so we'll get the final point we'll uh, then plot the final point okay so uh, how we'll get this matrix is first calculate xr and y, uh, yr we have into 1 minus cos theta plus yr into sin theta this will calculate and keep it in m and this will calculate and keep it in n for simplification first we'll find out m and n uh, in the code uh, as well we'll do the same thing if you have the um, I rotate about the origin we are calculating what m and n xr into 1 minus cos theta plus yr into sin theta same goes for this one as well we will find out m and n and rt is the rotation matrix so uh, what does the rotation matrix have cos theta minus sin theta 0 then sin theta cos theta 0 then 0 0 1 right that's what the matrix has uh, cos theta minus sin theta m uh, sin theta cos theta and n 0 0 and 1 after we have got this uh, matrix here we will just multiply it with each point okay so after we have got this one we will multiply it we will call the function which is multiply so in multiply what happens just the normal uh, matrix multiplication with each point which we have we have stored uh, those points here right these points are stored here and these points are stored here with each of these points it is getting multiplied and the final points are getting stored in the uh, which matrix resultant matrix okay see here it is getting stored in resultant matrix so in resultant matrix we have the answer and what we'll be calling is after we have done this one for um, see in display function we had gone it uh, gone from right draw triangle then rotate about the origin then draw the rotated triangle so when we ca uh, call these two functions is draw triangle and draw uh, rotate triangle at that time what happens these two uh, means whatever the points we have got in the uh, t matrix that will be displaying okay each of these uh, t matrix points will have the final point which will be displaying for the draw triangle and for the draw rotated triangle resultant uh, points will be displaying so that's how this uh, function works and that's all what is there in this um, program and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next